What's going on everyone? Austin John plays here and today I'm gonna to be going over how you can choose what legendary Pokemon you go into the Dynamax Adventures with. So this feature is going to be how you're going to be able to choose exactly what Pokemon you're going to be offered from Peonia. The only issue arises because we don't know the criteria in which what Pokemon are allowed to trigger this this event to happen. So today we're going to be doing a bit of experimenting to see exactly what Pokemon work for Peonia to recommend for you. And of course I need to run the Dynamax layer over and over so this is going to be a few hours of research and I'm going to let you know exactly how it turns out. Great. Well there's a mechanic that's built into the game that Peonia over here is going to be able to give you, you know, uh, uh, low, low paths in order to go find certain legendary Pokemon, right? So there's a trick that whatever legendary Pokemon is going to be in the first slot of your party that are in the actual Dynamax adventures, not this Mew, of course, that they are going to be the path that is recommended. So what that means is if I were to go in here and I have already caught Necrozma, who's right here, and let's go run the dungeon real quick. Whenever I run these Dynamax adventures solo, as in not online with real people, just the NPCs, I really like to be the person who helps set up screens and stats and things like that because they're just gonna do all out attacks and if I'm the one setting up reflect and helpful things like that, then it's gonna make life a lot easier. Like why do they get the electric seeds as their item? Worst idea ever. Anyways, my legendary this time is going to be bum 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 bana Taipu Coco. Nito Vegito. Their electric seeds are gonna extend this electric surge terrain. Never mind. Apparently, uh, once he starts to expand his move pool, he learns discharge, and uh, that just one shot all the Pokemon needed to lose. Well, that's fine. It wasn't really about winning it. It was more about just doing a Dynamax Adventure Den. Possible shiny reaction. Nopes. The most important part is that if we go over here and talk to Peonia, she's going to say, hey, I found Necrozma down in the max layer. And she'll actually even acknowledge. She says, wait a second, Austin John, you already caught Necrozma. And then she says, I'll just show you where it is for five Dynador. Is that cool? Also speak to her a second time. Might get something nice. Nope. And that's because Necrozma is in the first slot of my party over here. Now, let's do a fun little experiment. This is a Kiram that I transferred from, oh, even better, this Mewtwo right here is a Mewtwo that I transferred from the Kalos region. So that was from X and Y. That's where that Mewtwo is from. So if Mewtwo's in the front slot of my party, I'm pretty sure this won't work this time around. Yeah, you have to go do another round. And I actually don't know if it works with Pokemon from home. So let's go and find that out right quick. All right, boys, we got this. No discharge, doesn't affect me. Everyone lived it. Bisharp got paralyzed. Why'd you do amnesia? Bisharp is fully paralyzed. Life do. Thank you, Hatterene. That's exactly what we needed. And I get to win with the high horsepower on the sea outspeeds me, Brave Bird. Tanked it. Come on, Doug Trio. Like a boss. High horsepower. There we go. One more hit. Metal Claw. Thank you. P Meowth. Perserk or whatever your name is. Live Shining Reaction. Nope. Now, we get to test if this Mewtwo, who I transferred from Pokemon X and Y through Pokemon Home, can give me a root. Nope. Look at that. It's only Pokemon that you have caught here in the Dynamax Adventures. Now, follow-up question. What if I were to take this Pokemon and trade it to my other Nintendo Switch who's already in the Dynamax Adventures, but they obviously did not catch this Necrozma? Let's go see what happens then. Also, follow-up. What about the Ultra Beasts? All right, so now I'm gonna go test to see if this works for the Ultra Beasts in this game. And then I'm gonna transfer the Ultra Beast to the other game to see if that works. No, not not the Naganadel Ultra Beast, the, the basic ones. Guzzlord, you're coming with me. Bum 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 Yo Voltal. We actually have like a dream team to go up against Yo Voltal. We had all like electric rock and fairies. Live shiny reaction? Nope, no, no, nope. Alright, so let's go ahead and test the Ultra Beast theory. 
Yep, Ultra Beasts work. So, so far, legendaries that you caught in your own game work, and Ultra Beasts that you caught in your own game work. See, it's that text that says, you already caught it. That makes me think, hey, this is going to be locked to only in your exact game. Know what I mean? Like, getting it from someone else? Because Pokemon Home, legendaries did not work, and I'm just gonna <laughs> really presume that uh, Pokemon Home Ultra Beasts will not work. So I think more than anything else, it's gonna go by the flags in the game to see if you caught the Pokemon. Because here I have my other Nintendo Switch, who is already at the Dynamax Lair. And let's just go ahead and trade some Pokemans real quick. So I'm now in my second game here, and as you can see, uh, Peony is not here, so I have not unlocked the Necrozma quest line. And I'm gonna put Necrozma in the first slot of my party. And... Do you have anything for me? Nope. Okay, so let's go run the lair. You can even see that I don't have the, the scientist here. And who's our water type legendary? Tabu Fini. I now realize how much of our team is weak to water. Yeah, we all saw that coming. Nope, no shinies. All right, let's go see what Peonia has to say. She found Rayquaza. All right, so this did not work with her being able to see Necrozma, who is a legendary and caught from the other game, but I didn't have the Adventure 4 unlocked, so let's go try a non-Adventure 4 legendary. I now decided to transfer over my shiny Articuno that I got from the Max Layer Dens, Dynamax Adventures. Honestly, don't mind this kind of grinding. Really don't mind it at all. It's a dragon type, that's specific. That's like saying it's a flying type. I really didn't expect Kiram to be that much of a pushover, but he was, especially with my ice team. It said dragon, so we came in here with ice Pokemon. Live shiny reaction, possibly? Nope. You found Moltres down in the max lair, so no. Because this Articuno was caught in, in the max lair. Uh, just not in this game. So we've learned something very important here and also something very disappointing here That you can specifically ask for a Pokemon, but only if you've already caught it So this feature really only comes in handy to share the path with other people which if you own two switches or if you have a friend who you play with regularly, this is a great way that one person can catalog all of the legendaries and then they could always just share it with other people. Yeah, unfortunately, this is not going to help someone shiny hunt for one specific Pokemon in their game. If you were able to transfer them from home or from someone else, have them in the front of your party and then speak to her for a path, that'd be huge. But yeah, it turns out that this feature is only for Pokemon that you have caught in your own den and sharing it with other people. By the way, all this came about because uh, my, my homegirl Zoe Two Dots, she caught a shiny Zygarde and she had it in the front of her party and she only offered Zygarde and she thought her game was broken. But it turns out it wasn't a glitch, it was a feature. Well guys, let me know if you think that this feature is going to be helpful at all for you personally i don't think so much maybe maybe in my other switch that doesn't have the shiny charm i can go ahead and just freely catch all these legendaries and then if there's a specific one that i want to hunt for in this game i can because i assume once you're down to like i don't know the last two or three it's going to be a real pain in the butt to actually like navigate through the dens and actually find the right one. Granted, if you're part of like a large discord, there's a chance, but like say for example, you're hunting for like Yuxi at the very end, no one's gonna save Yuxi, <laughs> know what I mean? All right guys, leave your comments down below. I'm Austin John, until next time, Austin John out.